Dozens of Secret Service agents have been subpoenaed or have appeared before a federal grand jury in Washington that's looking into former President Donald Trump's handling of classified documents. Sources confirm agents assigned to Trump's security detail at Mar-a-Lago have been interviewed by prosecutors, with about 24 being asked to testify before a grand jury. Special Counsel Jack Smith has been investigating Trump's handling of classified documents and other materials after federal agents retrieved thousands of government documents from Mar-a-Lago in August. In other national headlines, we'll send it over to Alan Miller for more. Alan? Well, Justin, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas is getting an extension to file financial disclosures. Federal law requires all justices to publicly disclose their personal financial interests from the past year, including income, investments, gifts, and spousal salaries. Justice Thomas missed today's deadline to file, but is getting a 90-day extension. The extension comes at a time of scrutiny concerning his finances, notably his failure to disclose years of lavish trips and real estate deals with GOP megadonor Harlan Crow. Pope Francis is recovering after abdominal surgery at a hospital in Rome. The Vatican says there were no complications, adding it was related to a hernia, which was causing recurrent painful and worsening symptoms. Medical sources say the condition was likely related to a surgery the Pope had in 2021 to remove half his colon. The 86-year-old pontiff will remain hospitalized for several days. Coca-Cola is launching a new limited edition flavor, but the actual flavor remains a mystery. Coca-Cola Ultimate will be marketed to gamers. The soda maker partnered with Riot Games, which publishes, publishes the multiplayer online battle arena game League of Legends. Ultimate will be available in stores starting June 12th. The line is designed to drum up excitement for Coke among younger consumers. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6 will bring you more coverage on Governor Burgum's presidential campaign. Back to you, Justin.